Hello and welcome. So in this video, we're going to check out a trading strategy that incorporates this bad boy right here, the braid filter indicator. We're going to look at some of the differences towards the end as far as when it comes to swing trading, day trading, as well as scalping. And I'll give some recommendations, so make sure that you stick around till then. But let's get to it. So the beginning of the strategy incorporates only three indicators, which is really awesome if you're not using one of the paid for pro or premium accounts. We have the RSI bars, we have the braid filter itself, and we have the ATR. But without any further ado, let's dive into examples and let's look at what this strategy is all about. To buy, you need blue RSI bars and the first green bar on the braid filter will be your trigger. For sales, you need yellow RSI bars and the first red bar on the braid filter will be your trigger. Now, when it comes to trade management, we're doing two trades per position. The stop loss is going to be two times the ATR with the take profit being split between the first trade at 1.5 times the ATR and the second trade being at least four times the ATR. That will be our runner. Now, once the first take profit is hit, we're moving the second trade stop loss to break even, and we're going to wait for the RSI to give us our exit signal. Now it's on to settings. So we're going to change the candlestick body colors to black or a neutral color. I kept it at black just to make it really obvious. Now, as far as the uh, RSI bars, we're going to have something obvious. I did use blue and yellow. That's really for the buy and sell confirmation. Um, and the settings on those, I would definitely suggest somewhere between 8 and 12 for the length. And then the up level to be 60, the down level to be 40. It'll open up for that neutral zone. And now when it comes to the braid filter, we're looking for the McKinley uh, MA type with a period of three uh, on the first one, a period of seven for the second, a period of 14 for the third, and the pips percent will be 60. And then when it comes to the ATR, it's going to be dependent on the time frame. And this is one of the points that I want to differentiate between scalping, day trading, and swing trading. If you're going to be day trading or swing trading, let's say you're using the one hour time frame, you want to stick with that on chart ATR to reference. Now, if you're going to be doing something like scalping, something with a lower time frame, I would suggest that you keep the ATR with somewhere at the one hour time frame. I wouldn't go anywhere below the 30 minute. That really depends on the pair. And also you need to find out which pair is going to work best with what time frame with which ATR because they do change some move differently than others and that's extremely important to know so make sure that you're aware of that and the last thing I'd like to mention are some recommendations if you're going to use this strategy and you have a pro or a premium account definitely utilize some additional indicators that really complement this strategy the other thing is that you have to understand what we're looking for here we're looking for these trends whether it is in a lower time frame when you're doing some scalping whether it's some day trading or whether it's, it's some swing trading you're looking for those smooth trends up and that's why we break things into two trades per position because we want those runners to run we want to gather in that extra profit and the beautiful thing if you haven't seen my other videos when we use an exit indicator it helps to minimize those losses and maximize those gains so hey i really hope you enjoyed that video that you gained a ton of value from it if you did please like comment and subscribe make sure that you hit the bell notification below check out some other content but other than that safe trading out there keep doing the darn thing and I'll see you in the next one.